Michael Dirk says, I hear the phrase moon overhead and underfoot, but can you guys explain what uh, that is and how the deer use it? He said he has a hard time following that. I have a vague understanding of it, but I just don't pay that much attention to it. So I. Okay. So moon um, overhead and underfoot, what that means is exactly what it sounds like. Moon straight up is overhead, straight down is underfoot. Um, some studies indicate that uh, deer move more in those time periods. Some indicate that they don't. Uh, my personal observations say they do, but not everywhere is and pressure affects it dramatically. Mm -hmm. Like uh, in non-pressured areas, I saw in my observations, um, deer move a lot more overhead and underfoot time periods, mostly overhead. Um, however, um, I always seen that the best results with the overhead moon was when that occurred in the last hour of daylight or the first hour of daylight, then you had excessive movement in those time periods. Like, like, uh, the deer would move a little earlier or a little longer per se. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but I can remember, uh, um, in my journals hunting hill country where they, um, in Western Wisconsin, where they move more in daylight, where I would document times when I saw the deer and uh, I'd see uh, like say nine deer in a day, a day of hunting during the rut, peak rut. And uh, uh, seven or eight of those deer would be at the time moon was overhead within an hour of it. So in that case, I definitely saw some uh, alignment with that. Um, you know, and uh, you often see deer on patterns. Anybody that watches deer and watches movement and hunts consistently has to see this, that uh, you'll have a while when they're moving in the morning and then it'll shift to midday and then it'll shift to the evening. You can just see the shift of timing, you know, like, and then you won't be seeing them in the evening until like the last light, but also you see them in the mornings a lot, you know, like they're in rut and stuff. Right. And you just see the shift, like even uh, like when we shine during the summer and we shine deer, now it's midsummer, right? But you can go out at a period of time at night, like say you go out at 10 o'clock and you can shine. And if you don't see deer in the first five fields, they're just not out. They're all bedded. And you can shine all over the place. You might see one or two, but come out, a few, just go home and come out a few hours later and they're in every field. And you'll see this time period of when they move shift around. Now, I can't say for sure that that has to do with the moon. I haven't studied it enough. I have seen some, um, you know, biologists and stuff say they did studies that showed no effect, but I personally did studies that saw an effect. I, I also saw some biologists that said it did have an effect when they did a study. So, um, I don't know. I, I hunt all the time, so it doesn't affect me that much. I hunt whenever I have any free time at all, but yeah. it's a good thing to know because if, if you, if, if you can, uh, hunt certain hours or certain days picking that day i do think helps that moon overhead day yeah we've we've talked about it a little bit on the podcast or the show uh in the past it's just like it's one of those little things that just moves the needle a little bit in your favor again you know um yeah. and as many of those things as you can put in your favor is not a bad thing at all greenhorn dave says uh yeah. if you scout behind behind dan and hills you'll get moon overhead at some point yeah <laughs> that yeah. funny. See, I almost, funny. Got a I almost called him a name. <laughs> hey, everybody! If you like the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you like the clips, I got two more options for you. Two options right here. Subscribe right here. See you guys.